Hello, and welcome to Maxie's Fun Time. This is Maxie, and today we are going to do some mining. Um, before we get to the mining part, we're going to need to go outside, and I think we're going to need some more wood. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that's not going to do. So we're going to have to cut down some trees. Um, we got a stone axe, and it's fully up. And we'll go ahead and plant these spruce trees out here. That's going to be our main wood from now on. We're going to plant this right in front of our house. And you want to plant these in a 2x2. Two two. Just like that. And we're going to go over here and jet some of these trees over here. I um, hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. I um, didn't really do anything besides cook. And I took a day off just to relax and not do nothing. So this is my first video since the Thanksgiving holidays. Um, we are going to need quite a few because we want some ladders to start out with. And I believe we got a water bucket, which will be good, because we can make a quick fall. And this is the new standard for making uh, mining shafts. It uh, takes up less time digging. And also materials to be used for digging. And also it won't cause you to um, it won't cause you to uh, get fatigued from actually walking up and jumping up and down the stairs uh, you, you can use the old way or you can uh, just dig up an extra spot in the roof and then um, the stairs all the way down. Either way, it's up to you. Yeah, what we got here? This should be fun. Uh, we will pick up some of these saplings. There we go. And real quick, we are going to run down here and check on our farm. And it still hasn't grown yet. Look okay. good. No, no, no. Keep forgetting. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor sheep. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta let them, especially if there's two or three of them right there together, sometimes you just gotta let them blow them up. Just make sure you get back far enough where it doesn't damage you. Now, before you do any strip mining, you want to make sure you got enough food available to you to actually last down there for an extended period of time. And if there's nothing important out here that you want to get done first. And we don't have anything out here. We just got stuff that we want to let grow, so this is the perfect time to go ahead and go strip mine. Now, once you get the strip mine done, you want to spend day out here. And then night down there strip mining until you get three of uh, five diamonds. You want five diamonds and then you come back up to the surface and gather as many of the other resources as you can so then we'll go for, we'll go, I'll tell you from there what, what happens next but but that's our goal so our goal is to get the strip mine running and then we'll get three diamonds or five diamonds now you want three you want three diamonds for the diamond pick so you can get obsidian and then two diamonds for the um, Enchanting pick. 
that's most important right now. It'll make your life a whole lot easier. Okay. Now you see we started this little path here down to here and that's because I wanted to get a little bit away from the uh, upstairs. And what we want to do is expand this out a little bit. Like this. Okay, and we have food. Okay. Grab something to eat. Okay, now the way this works is. Oh, no, no, no. Let's make the ladders first. I almost forgot. <coughs> Excuse me, but cough. Good enough. Hopefully. And remember when you are using your. Um, crafting table you can left click to evenly divide up amongst them the spaces you want for the recipe okay. and we want all those turned into ladders so we shift click and 43 should be enough so and we got plenty of torches got plenty of food okay here's how this works you dig you can drop in regular minecraft with normal difficulty, you can drop three blocks without taking damage. So you want to dig down three and then drop over. And then you want to dig out of space and pop a torch. And you want to pop a torch on the same side every time every two drops. That should give you enough light. And then you want to dig out the next section. So you always you will never be digging out underneath you. And then we drop down on this side and see how that worked. So when we come back to dropping down on this side, we'll place a torch. Alright, now for this episode, as much as I hate using the F3 command, you need to keep an eye on what level you are at. So So we want to press F3, and that will let you know what level you're at. Now we're at 66Y, and we need to be at 12, so we need 46 ladders. Might need a little more ladders, but we got plenty of wood on us, so we'll make some when we get there if we have to. Okay. So we just keep keep doing this all the way down. Oh shit. Well, go ahead and do one more, it won't hurt us. the side our torches on. Now you want to make sure the torches are on this side for a reason. Alright, so we just make sure your torches stay on this side. And oh, dang it. Alright, we'll just shift click here so we don't fall off. Now don't worry about getting this gravel out of the way. And as you can see, this is taking a whole lot less time than the way they used to 
have everybody do it. And I say that, it's just the YouTube community. They used to do the stairs and all the videos, and then they come up with this method. So everybody copies it. When they play Minecraft, it's the easiest way to get down to the resources you need. I have n oh, shit, wrong way. We are going to block this back up. And I will explain that later too. So we got, okay, so we need this one. I am still doing the feed the beast, so don't worry about that. I just wanted to get some of these videos out. I guess we use our iron pick for now. Make sure before you come down here to make extra stone picks though. Ah, uh, damn it. Just this one. Mm, excuse me. I have started playing um, Eve online, but I don't know that my computer is going to be able to record and play that game at one time. Plus, it's kind of it's kind of more uh, skill based, where you just worry about gathering skills, and there's not much action. So I don't know if it's going to be one of them games where I'm going to actually record it for here. Two, I don't know if I'm able to record the game for YouTube. I know there's people that have recorded it, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're supposed to do it. Now, we need to get a torch in here. Okay, so as you can see, this is a long drop down here. So we want to be really careful here. I know, I know that's emeralds, and I would love to cook it there right now, but that's not what we're doing right now. So, this is really awesome find, but we are not doing that right now. So, we need to close this back up. And we are doing that for a specific reason. And I just blocked it off. There we go. And we need to come out here and block this off before we continue digging. There we go. Because we want this to be a straight shot all the way down. And I think this is going to ruin our plan a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, grab that. Hopefully you won't have to worry about closing it back in. It's kind of monotonous. And I hear lava, which is also a bad sign. Okay. And we are going to go ahead and continue this down. a light source behind this block.
push you. And really be careful of that. Don't we don't want to do that too many times. Especially with more here in lava underneath this. There we go. We haven't seen any materials yet. There is lava underneath us. I would bet. Oh, we're at 12. Okay. Well, this is perfect. Okay, so now we're at 12. This is the side with the torches in it. Alright, so we want to dig one hole here. Okay. And we are going to put our water source here. And this is going to be our quick fall. Alright, this is also going to ensure that if we fall off the ladder, we can move over here and land in this little pool, and we'll be okay. Alright, so, the second thing we want to do is go ahead and dig this out a little bit. It doesn't need to be too big. Just a little wide so we don't feel so cramped up down here. And you want to leave this side here flat. This side is going to be flat. And we also want to go up three. There we go. And this is big enough. Just can finish the rest of this off. There we go. Okay, now we are not going to have enough to get back up to the top, I don't think, so we're going to make it a little more ladders. And we need to go ahead and put stuff like down here anyway, so we got that. And we'll go ahead and make a couple of furnaces and keep them down here. Four. Five. And for now, these will do. That there. There we go. And again, you don't want to put any of this near this stuff. is messing up if you're wondering. Mm, that should be enough. Okay. So then we want to put the ladders all the way back up. And when you hear that sound that means you placed one somewhere else where you can't see it. Okay. And we will take the F3 off because we don't need it anymore. There we go. And there we go. Now, you put the... The reason you wanted the torches on this side, right here, is because the ladder's on this side. And you don't... Know, if, you, if you put the torches on that side, sometimes when you're falling, you'll hang on this little... Edge right here. Hold on, let me go up some. Sometimes when you fall, you'll hang on this edge, and that will actually kill you. So we want the torches on this side with the ladders. Unless you're using like jack lanterns or something like that, then you can put them on either side or both. But we don't have any jack lanterns right now, so or pumpkins. And we have a safe fall, so if we don't have enough t uh, ladders, we can just fall down and make some more. No big deal. And we didn't 
have enough so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe 16 more. So we will go ahead and use our quick fall. Now when you're falling, make sure you're against that far wall there. And do not touch it once you come down below that point there. Because if you land on that when you're falling, you still die. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and seal that up. There we go. There we go. A little bit more torches. Now you do climb a little bit slower on the ladders. So if you want to do the stairs thing, it It'll, it'll be a little bit better, but with the ladder thing, you can like make secondary levels directly underneath your base. So, and I'm, I knew they can climb down. I don't think they can climb up ladders. to spare and it is morning so we have our strip line down there and I'm going to go ahead and go back there even though it's morning outside we're going to go ahead and go back there so we're going to take our quick ball make sure you get all the way against the wall okay and we are going to start over here Just going to do a generalized little thing just to, just to refresh a course on how to do a strip mine. Remember that you want to go five and then place a torch and then go five again and place a torch. Now we are going to plan on going this way so you can put the torches on this side. And we're not going to go too far out, maybe ten. Yeah, let's go a little bit more. This is redstone. There we go. And we'll put one here. that down there I'm going to dig a tunnel this way and you actually want to come in one from there just because we want to leave that as a wall and we'll put a torch in like I said we're not going to do but like one in one tunnel just to show you again how, how to do it We need this, so we're going to go ahead and get it. Now I'll finish that off later. Let's get this done. Let's put a torch here, like we're supposed to. Okay. And now you're going to go to the other end and cut in the same. And I will come off camera and get all this uh, coal, so don't worry about that. I didn't miss it. 
and I will also go up there and get that piece of um, emerald out of the wall. So nobody has a hissy fit. There we go. Now we hear water running, so there's a cave either this way or this way. So, we skip two, and we start the tunnel here. And we already found some gold. Grab the gold. Now, you can grab all the ore now, or you can actually mine all the tunnels out and then go back and grab the ore. It's up to you. Either way, you're going to need a pick on you. And my pick is almost gone. So, there is another emerald. I wonder if they're actually going to put emerald tools in them. I know people have been asking for it. And it broke. And so. Stone for now, just to get back to the other side here, and I'll spend some time down here off camera and, and do the strip mining part. I just want to show y'all how to do it. This is not going to be like a let's play or anything like that, so it's just to to show you how to do different stuff so. and that's it and then you go over two more on the side and then you start the next tunnel right here just like that And I don't think I'll be able to get this redstone. No. Because we need some more iron. We need an iron pick. And there it is. And as you're strip mining, you want to keep the safety issues up so you don't want to dig underneath you. So always dig up to the side so you don't have to dig underneath you. So always do a 2x2 two two, or 1x2 rather. And that's basically it. It's for a fresh pour on strip mining. Anybody who's watched my uh, series is know basically what that, that's about. And we'll go back up. And just remember, you, you want to do the outside. And, and we're still on the first couple of days. So, so like the first, the first like six or seven days in Minecraft, after your first night, you want to go ahead and do your farming and gathering food and wood on the outside during the day and, and checking your farm and replanting it doing all that stuff outside <coughs> building a fence for your cows and your sheep and stuff um, and then at night you want to go ahead and be strip mining all night long and you want to do that for six or seven nights until you find diamonds so I'm going to go ahead and sleep to make it morning um, this is Maxi, and if you like this episode and it's helped you, make sure you press the like button. If you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I have a bunch of new 
show uh, videos coming out of different kinds of stuff. And uh, I'll see you on the next episode. Happy Thanksgiving.